Hi guys, Kassai Katan here, Online Trades for Bitdefender. As you probably noticed, it's been an entire week since we posted the Q&A intro section for MalwareCity.com. So, it's time to answer the questions now. The first question comes from Mr. or Mrs. MM. How does a router firewall help against Trojan? Most of the times, a router firewall, unless specifically told otherwise, will stop incoming traffic for accessing your internal network. Can the Trojan contact his creator from inside and use a random port? Yes, that is true. If you have already uh, installed a Trojan on your computer, it can connect to the outside world and specifically request for commands and things like that. So, the main idea would be not to get infected in the first place. Why are open ports dangerous as long as there's no application listening on those ports? Most of the times there's no open ports if there's no application running and listening. For those ports. If I have an application that used to listen to a certain port and then it crashes or it dies, the operating system will clean things up and will close those ports. If in the case of port forwarding in, in, uh, and a lot of traffic is coming to my network, uh, if there's no application listening on that port, the operating system will simply ignore those packets. The next question is, do you plan to make videos on computers getting infected and perform malware analysis? Yes, we're planning to do that. I can't tell you right now when, but certainly that's a plan. Another question is, why is non-HTTPS traffic insecure? How else can data be stolen besides man-in-the-middle attacks? Man-in-the-middle attacks are usually not so easy to do. So most of people uh, try to avoid these attacks, most of the hackers try to avoid these attacks. However, non-HTTPS traffic is not that hard to intercept. For example, uh, man in the middle means me being in the middle of the communication between you and a certain server. However, let's ignore this case. Let's say we're, you're in an internet cafe having a coffee and browsing the internet. If I enter the same network with you and I will start capturing packets and an analyzing them, I can see all the websites you are visiting, I can see unencrypted information, I can see Google searches and things like that. So. It's not necessary that it's a lot easier to, to hack and things like that, but you're just making an easier job for the hacker to see what you're doing. 